So how did you find the perfect actors for each role? Um, I directed, I wrote and directed a play uh, last year uh, called Damned. Um, and it was a really big cast, it was a really ambitious script, but luckily I, I was able to get in contact with a director named Mike McPhee, and he um, is a uh, theater, uh, can I take that question again? Yeah, sure. Perfect. 
Um, who has one? And then discuss a man from women. All right, so we'll skip ahead to episode two. Scene three, interior convenience store. Cashier stands behind his store counter with a scowl. Bigsby approaches the counter with his ukulele on his shoulder, carrying three tall cans of beer and one of cat food in his arms, and sets them down. Cashier begins scanning each item as Bigsby reaches both hands into his pocket and retrieves two fistfuls of small change, pouring them onto the counter next to the cash register. Cashier glares at Bigsby for a moment in silent discontent, then sighs and begins counting. Just scene seven, go ahead. Scene seven, exterior convenience store afternoon. Frankie sits on the ground outside the convenience store, his back pressed against the building with a guitar in his lap and a cigarette between his lips. He turns the keys on the headstock and plucks the strings to change the tuning. Bigsby casually strolls over to Frankie, his ukulele hung over his shoulder. Quick note there, we move that scene to the gazebo in Esplanade Street, just so you know. Frankie! Frankie! Bigsby sees an empty needle sticking out of Frankie, hanging from his arm, which is tied off to the ribs extension cord. Son of a bitch! Bigsby pulls the needle out and examines it closely. He plops down next to Frankie. Bigsby frantically pulls up his sleeve and begins impatiently slapping his arm. Once the baby's reached the surface of his skin, he quickly injects himself with the needle. Bigsby closes his eyes and takes a deep breath. He waits for a moment in silence for the drugs to take effect. When nothing happens, he angrily tears the needle from his arm and throws it aside. Thanks a lot, Frankie! I've got your head feet for nothing! <laughs> Biggs. Colton kicks Bigsby with his foot, but he's unresponsive. Biggs? Colton turns to Moses. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Moses reaches down and begins pulling the pants off Bigsby while Colton digs through the pockets of his jacket. Bigsby stirs and groans angrily. He kicks Moses away with pants half pulled off and hanging around his ankles. What the fuck are you doing, boys? Bigsby grabs for his pants and pulls them up slightly, glaring at Moses. Why are you trying to take my pants, Moses? They won't even fit you. Frank is looking for him. I know, he found me. Thanks for wrapping me up, you putty prick. I only said I seen you drinking forties. Yeah, well, I guess that was enough, wasn't it? Bigsby waves the jagged end of the broken beer bottle at Clumsy, who cowers in fear. Listen. I can't get work as it is, and I sure as hell can't compete with all this shit you got going on here. So you can either leave town, or I'm gonna stab you in the fucking face. Or I'm gonna stab you in the fucking face. No, 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 no. You, you know, you, you're looking for work. Maybe I could give you a job. I don't want to hand out pizza. No, 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 no. I get college students for that. You're a clown, right? So you can help to entertain the kids. Do you know any tricks? Mostly balloon animals. That's great! Exactly. Ah, other than that, the lips perfect. Uh, we can try the cheeks to see how that looks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right. head on. Awesome. And uh, we're going to start the children here. And this is our drowsy. Oh, what's the color of that? Now, do you know what's even weird about this design? <laughs> Swastikas? <laughs> <laughs> our props manager held this up. She said, these are our best clown suits. And I was just like, oh, yeah, those look great. And Tanner was there giving me a hand because those were swastikas. Of course, Tanner is. Which is great because the actor playing clumsy gets to a big argument with blacks and Jews. So we're like, <laughs> and the, the props manager was so embarrassed. She was like, oh, I'm so, I didn't even know. I'm like, no, we're, ta we're taking that. But we have this little light pad we're thinking about using the game too. Cool. This name's Drowsy, but we're going to try it. It's awesome. So yeah, it's the base of that. Two short films with Kenzie, 
and one of them was called the writer, the other one was called comfort food. So I know that this has been a project that's been going on for a while for you, but about how long have you been planning to do this film, and when did you start like writing and searching for actors and things like that? I started writing Bigsby about a year ago now. Um, it was just this idea I had. I like writing scripts. I'm always writing. I'm working on like three scripts while I'm doing this. Uh, I didn't really know what would become of it, but then I ended up taking a class at Cape Breton University which was taught by Scott Sharplin, and it was about um, independent artistry and making a living as an artist. And you know, he showed us how to go through grant applications, how to organize projects, and so once I had gotten all of these, the, these tools and these skills from him, uh, he was huge in helping me develop it, you know, he, helped, he, he read it, he helped me develop the script. He helped me go through the process of getting in touch with iCreate and uh, Arts Nova Scotia. So, it, and then I brought in John and I said, look, like this is the first script I wrote it. Do you think we can make a couple more? And John picked that up amazingly. Like the rest of those scripts wouldn't have any substance if it wasn't for John. Me and him worked on that for, I think we wrote the rest of those in like five months. It took me three months just to write the first script. So getting the chance to finally work with a writing partner who complemented my skills, who, who added to, to my work, and in his own right, just being so funny and having such a great sense of comedy, um, it made the whole process a lot easier. But it's, it's been a year. Um, I started looking for actors as, as soon as, um, I would say, I'd say about halfway through the writing process, we started getting serious about it and talking like, okay, how are we gonna do this? And it just so happened that I was put into contact with iCreate, and they've been a huge part of me getting the equipment and the resources to make it happen. But it's been a nonstop job for a year. My lunch breaks at work, I'm calling people, I'm scheduling, I'm doing locations. Um, and it's been a 24 hour job, and it's quite frankly cost me everything I have all of my money, my personal life. Um, but I've never been happier doing something that I'm really passionate about and I'm willing to put myself into this 100% because if you're not willing to put yourself in and, and work hard towards something you want, then what's the point of even achieving it? Here. Are you able to get it up to the ponytail still? Yeah. Just. So how does it feel to have your belly? It's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Mother what I always dreamed of. Yeah, I know. I just want to touch it all the time. All I want to do is touch the belly. That's amazing. That's the best thing I've ever seen. This reminds me of the way my mom used to dress me. <laughs> <laughs> no, is this a, a, a collar or is this a yeah. piece? Yeah, okay. You got it. You got it. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> I get that a lot. Some people think I'm a bit of a clown, but you know. Is that enough? Are you letting me want to grab that, bring it over? Right? Yeah. Wow. Right? Wow. It is real. I figured that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just put a note that 
the back does not close on Drowsy's clan suit, and that the legs are short. And uh, never mind with the legs. They're good enough. Because you're gonna have to go around his yeah. schedule. Yeah, so you're gonna have one, one. Make sure to check with Dammy. Um, it's the sort of thing where I think we're gonna be doing the first two episodes, we'll take a break, and then I'll get a hold of Dammy. Yeah, so, there's a lot of steps between now and then, I'm focusing on props and locations, I'll be in touch with you, I don't know really when your hours start per se, I think it'd be better to save as much of it as you can for the actual production week or the, or the week before, but if there's some little things I can get you to start thinking about and working on in the meantime, I'll let you know. Thanks Rachel, catch you later. Um, anyways, do you have any questions for the time being? No. No? Okay. okay. Here, what I'll get you to do, um, do you want to put these in your hair to the point, like bunch up the hair that you want gone? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, I do. Like, like mark the spot? Yeah. So no, like like take it all, like you're going to put it into like a little fucking nub like that, you know? That'd work. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I can do it. Okay. I just don't want to like run my fingers through your hair like, ooh, dang. Yeah, it's quite all right. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Your hair is a thick wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look sadly into your eyes while he does this to me. <laughs> How do you feel about filming? So far? Uh, filming's going really well. Everybody's being very understanding and patient. Uh, and it's a lot of fun, it's indescribable. I feel fulfilled, I feel validated. I am getting my head shaved. <laughs> so here, it's always a good experience. It's always mm -hmm. fun. It's always fun. Yeah. Yeah. So you just never know. How did you guys get involved? Like, 
I've been doing theater now since I was in teen, so just a couple of years experience. <laughs> <laughs> and through that, actually, I do costumes quite a bit for various productions, mm -hmm. and I do production work for uh, different production companies. And uh, so with that, I know I call uh, Paul. No, we're gonna have to make I know everybody else calls him for yeah. <laughs> but I know him as Paul because I dressed him for Blue Notes when he played the pirate last year at CBO. Last year, the year before, yep. some of us are I started in the Sydney yeah. Academy yeah. with Mrs. Uh, McClellan yeah. with musical. Uh, at that time with the pins yeah, 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 yeah. all of that. When, when I went to Ontario with the Etobicoke Music yeah, uh, Productions, I had my actor uh, program. And uh, I, I, we've done Bye Bye Birdie and Kiss Me Kate. And through the people that were doing it, I got involved. But when I issues so came out, <laughs> my marriage uh, ended, so I decided to come to Cape Breton, so I haven't really been involved a lot now. We can tattoo it on your fucking head, so every time you go bald, it'll just be there. <laughs> 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 I'm Dave Petrie, I'm here as okay, wait, wait, an oh extra my. in the uh, movie, looking forward to it. It's going to be a beautiful day, nice day to be outside. And uh, what would you like to know? Um, how did you find out about this? Uh, my wife, uh, Donna, over there, uh, she saw it on a, on a Facebook book page and uh, she said, let's go and do it. We're both involved in uh, amateur theater, and, uh, Highland Arts, and uh, Boardmore Theater over the last few years. <laughs> so we, we enjoy doing this sort of thing. That's good. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. That's the test, man. That's how you know. <laughs> That's so gross. Holy shit. Your head is as white, like on top is with the makeup. As the driven snow. <laughs> <laughs> and pure. <laughs> you gotta look at this. How do you feel? Um, good. Hydrating? In the flask, and yeah, yeah. For that one, we're gonna do inside the car. We'll get him just sitting there, like face on, yeah, take it out of crying the or whatever. So and then once he starts crying, we'll get that there. But then I'll also get it from outside the car. Yes, yes. So it'll cut, like it'll start crying, and it'll cut, and it'll be muffled. Yes, dude, do that. That's gonna be amazing. That's what a director does, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sort of idea a director would have. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Action. What does everyone think? Should we have the full sign in it? Or just enough to know that it's there? Full sign? I would suggest you could do a close-up. I'm gonna, yeah, I already got that too. And then you don't need full sign. You don't yeah. think? <laughs> yeah, you already have it. I gotta have be two on your fucking phone. <laughs> like it could be just cutting off, so it's not as staged. <laughs> as soon as he... Yeah, no worries. <laughs> no, that's in it. That's in the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys think you get a shot of him like walking towards this way from the behind? Mm. Yeah, and we're gonna go right yeah, up into the line. Jason crackers, and then I think we're gonna stop. Okay. Just because then we don't have to depend too much on that walking scene. Sure. He's gonna be that much. Probably like. Just because this picks up everything, maybe we'll have to go like sock deep. So, having three extra sets of footsteps. I think um, John, Mitz, and Paul are going to have to look at the budget and see if we can pour ourselves a cowboy after <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, spoilers, we can't afford it, we're still doing it. Be <laughs> <laughs> careful with your shadows, too. I found the what? Be careful with your shadows on the ground filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turf. I just shit my pants! And people just want the opportunity to do something and, and be given the opportunity to try out something that maybe they're not even good at. That's you right. You know, try a new skill and get involved and just contribute whenever they can. And the more you travel and the more you visit with people and the more you think of what's going on in your brain and in your heart and what you have to offer in the world. And that, that uh, I don't know, that's, I felt really good when I was sitting. I said, You're really, ready. what was this all about? Yeah. So just tell me, what are your names and what are your roles for the film? How are you helping? Okay, I'm Mitch Morant. I, um, I guess I'm head of audio. Uh, yeah. I'm John Burry. I help Fritz write it and I work with the boom mic. Perfect. And are you guys enjoying it? Yeah, oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's Have you learned so anything new? Um, yeah. I mean, I guess it's all like kind of a learning curve, you know. Yeah. Um, for sure. I'm used to do. I'm used to um, using audio equipment, but not in a setting like this. Not, not any sort of films. Usually just music. Mhm. Mm yeah. I never used a boom mic before, and now like I, I kind of know how to use a boom mic, so like I definitely learned something there. Perfect. And how would you want to influence youth to get involved? I mean, I mean, the community always needs boom mic operators. <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't, like I said, I never studied any of this. I, I, you know, I didn't take any classes for it or anything. Um, but I'm loving it. Um, I know Fritz and it just happened. I mean, the, obviously there is, you know, want for a scene around here. Um, so yeah, if, I mean, if you ever get the opportunity, just, just like take get it. together with your friends and do stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, that's for like real, a, for real, for real. Thing. Something you want to do, just do it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Perfect. Thanks, boys. Yeah, man. Yeah. Quite welcome. Don't kill animals. <laughs> Play the who? Who? You don't know the who? No. They're real simple. They're like real simple. Yeah. Can I take it from you then? Just hold out your hand. They're like real simple. Here. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think so. Come on. What? You want the five bucks? Come on. You want the five bucks?
Oh, you fuck, move. you shouldn't have smashed that. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. Yeah. Cut. I was like, he's gonna mime it, he's gonna mime it. <laughs> <laughs> no. You filmed? No, no, you just okay, smashed the wrong one. one. That was our fault. <laughs> we we rushed him. I got <laughs> it in the background <laughs> of something else filming. <laughs> no, no. Not cool. Um, if it means anything like shit, that was the worst one. Yeah. Yeah, it was. So we'll do it like that. Okay. Punching in the guitar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some more, you're like, that was actually better. Yeah.
Oh, look at him, he pulls it right out of his pocket, he's ready to go, boy! So once we wrap the feet, you gotta do fucking great. Yeah, really nice. I think I was thinking of it the other side of the power, but you can adapt it. Well, you need yeah, to three. Exactly. So we'll go face on, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, just cool. simple, like. Let's take a look. Whoever's in the team, go over there. Yep. And you're gonna move up. Uh, Daniel, Savannah, you guys wanna step in for a second? We're just gonna orient everybody. I've stopped, move them, tell them what to do. Because we're gonna lose time and put the. This kid's across the way. So, okay, so what are you gonna do here? So you're gonna describe this by showing them. Okay, so you would be like about here. Uh, James would come in like from over here, grab you. Um, uh, yeah, like pick them up and hold yeah. them. Yep. Do you want me a little more up here? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think there, there is good. And then he comes up and, yeah, just like grabs you and pulls your hand. Okay. Put him against the tree. Um, uh, then, yeah, he, yeah, punches him. Uh, gets up. So you go and look at the chain. You okay, no, okay. You what if you stand on the rocks? So you're on the rock to Okay. Why don't you stand behind the camera? You know what I mean? Like, right where I you're mean, at. Like, uh, can you like, just show me what you're doing? Is there another coming? tree we can do with that? Okay, hold on. Here. Are you going to be moving or you're just... I will be moving. So okay. I'll be here. Fuck, I love first shot. Uh, now, when this is happening, when what we're worried about, I'm going to be doing... Butterfly kisses. Uh, actually, I'm going to be from this forward. side. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be pivoting over here. I'm doing that entire thing with Panther Down. Correct. No, no, not the, not the whole thing, I don't think. It's all is well. Yeah, all is well? Thanks, okay. man. You guys fucking killed that. We tried. Yeah. Pretty easy to act off of me. How was that? It was good. It was on fucking real. Yeah. I got a couple pictures Can I free? Yeah, do it. Oh. <laughs> Hey, hey, Frankie! What's going on? James Rutterham. Who are you playing? Playing Frankie. And what's it like being on your first film set? It's fantastic. I'm having a lovely time. And what is it like working with Fritz? He's an alright guy. Bit of an asshole. I don't know. And very what's professional. it? Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what's it like working with the rest of the cast and crew? Good. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. Can you can you ask me these again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> Action. Frankie. Oh, Jesus Christ, Frankie.
Thanks a lot, Frankie. It's got your hep C for nothing. Just think that you're talking to me. Like, yeah, don't okay. even look at the camera. Okay, just yeah, like yeah, sorry. So, you've never done this before, right? No, no, I have not. I've always wanted to do something like this. I'm a big film buff. It's freaking awesome to be here. I'm glad I'm doing it. <laughs> and how have you liked working with Fritz? He's uh, very great to work with. <laughs> Having a really great time. Paul's very professional about it all. He knows exactly what he wants done. And yeah, I'm very happy to be doing this for him. I'm happy he's happy with everything. <laughs> and what about working with the rest of the cast and crew? Uh, they're all great too. Um, I'm kind of lost for words almost. <laughs> Everyone's pretty fantastic. I am very feel very good about it. <laughs> and why did you choose to be on this film? Uh, Paul actually asked me, Fritz asked, asked me, uh, he said he had this character written that he'd like me to play and I was all for it. What's it like to play a character with so much force? Is it something that you can relate to or out of your comfort zone? Not really. I'm not a very intimidating guy. So I kind of really had to get the character for it. You know, establish a voice that I was going to use and my attitude and whatnot. But, no, it's, uh, it's definitely a change of pace for myself. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Alright, everybody, one more for insurance, but yeah. Yeah. I hate tastes I don't like. They do. Nice. Yeah, that was cool. When you guys took like the first of them, like the long take. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. Actually, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Let me do it! <laughs> you should direct next season, though, for sure. Who is directing this scene? Kenzie. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna use up. Uh, you look so short. I am so short. Is this anywhere else? I've never actually done that. So oh, the song? No, I'm just thinking. Anyone know how to get off a pack of cigarettes into a sleeve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it the wrong way. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you stop that fucking rodeo? How do you do it? No, you're in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we still getting Patricia to do yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Patty. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to write a book about your ass! <laughs> I'm Tanner Ludy, Nathan Hines. And you guys play hoodlums. We're a couple of hoodlums. So, is this your first time being like extras or anything in a film? Yeah, yeah, I think involved. that's like a real actual production. Yeah, we take cool Snapchats of each other, but that's yeah. about it. My brother used to make weird movies with his friend. Oh, cool. You know, on YouTube, women those. What are some? You throw in any questions you want? This is the first real <laughs> production we've been involved in. Yeah. How do you like it? It's a blast. It's awesome. Like, yeah. This I is think so cool. I think everyone who like hadn't done anything prior to this has probably got the bug now and really wants to keep doing it because I know that. Anything that Paul does, I'm gonna try to weasel my way into yeah, from now on. Yeah, like I definitely it's, want. It's been super, super fun yeah. so far. I definitely want to try to be like 
compared it more falls mm -hmm. crazy things now. Do you find that that's a good way to get even younger kids excited about the arts and the different oh, yeah. forms that there are? Oh yeah. How would you approach someone to kind of bring them on and... Honestly, uh, make it low pressure. Make them feel comfortable. Because I, we were we were worried, or I was worried at least beforehand, and then once we did it, I was like, oh, I'm only an extra, and then yeah. it was fun. But now I feel like I could probably do something a little bit more now, yeah. now that I've done it and realized it's easy and it's fun, especially when you're working with people that you like a lot. Everyone's been great to work with so far. Yeah, it was awesome. I, just... I keep saying so far because, I mean, it's Paul Bishop, and he's a rig, and you don't know what he's <laughs> doing. <laughs> he's a wild card. And do you feel that the environment that the cast and crew have kind of going on helps a lot in that aspect? Definitely. Oh yeah, it's super like welcoming and like laid back, but still like professional, which is like the best way to do anything. Paul is like a really stern father. Yeah. <laughs> like he's, he's he's a good dad. Yeah. That's how it's like you win, but I, you're, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Yeah, like, well, so like your second yeah. So it's always the Yeah, but like, shaky sleepless cans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. It's all the stuff and bags, shut them in the Alright, so, uh, here he comes to take one. Action. Good holiday, Piggy! Will you give me ten cents? I fucking can't. I'm here taking the dump short of a bad leg. They want to fuck me out of fifteen cents. Still, what's that? Twenty? Thirty bucks worth of games you got there? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want spear thingy? Uh, sure. Or what do you have his nose on this one? <coughs> I'll probably take it off and walk right there. <gasps> take it off? So when he's falling in, like he'll fall, like capture from inside the dumpster. Oh my God. Uh, okay. If we could yeah. get that, that would be so good. Oh man. Uh -huh. Well, so. I ate trash. You can get in a dumpster for five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the blanket? Ooh wee. Nope. <laughs> oh, the poor camera guy's gotta go in. Oh shit! Yeah, we should be careful. Oh, I can't. Just <laughs> oh, like sledding. <laughs> I thought I was getting a kiss on the cheek. I'm gonna quit like uh, three seconds. Ah! Uh, 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 Action!
what was your role? So I was the cashier, as you can tell, by the cashier. Place. And has this your, been your first time acting? Yeah. Um, except I was in the vagina monologues in Portmore. But I'm just starting to get into it. This was a really cool opportunity. And you've enjoyed it? Did you like the environment and yeah. the cast and crew? What do you think about being part of this project? Or what could you say to the youth that want to get involved? So to youth that want to get involved, I would say do it. Like, if you think you've been outside of something like this or you've never been involved in this and now you can't, and it's not true. Like, now is the time. The reason why I got involved in it was because of people telling me, like, don't get away from it for too long because then it's harder to come back. So mm -hmm. I'm glad I got to start now. <laughs> <laughs> so as you know, I create works with youth. Yeah. And what would you, do you feel that this is a great way for youth to be kind of out of streets and into the arts and fostering that type of thing? Definitely. And I think it can really help motivate youth to look at career paths and things like that. Um, especially when you look at even people who are applying here at CBU. Uh, there's a lot of students, there are a lot of science students, but you see only a few people go into arts and then they're not really sure what they're gonna do or if they're gonna come up with anything. Um, to those people I say that you can do anything with an arts degree, for sure. So. Perfect, anything else you'd wanna share with us? Um, just a thanks to you guys for doing this and I'm, I'm just, I love seeing local things happen here, like local, Productions, the Highland Arts Theater, the Boardmore, like the Savoy, this, like it, it's just awesome to see our community come together and make, make things and create things. Super, thank you. Thank you. Oh, short. Okay, wait, take a couple steps forward. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's the one. when we touch, the honesty's too much. And I have to close my eyes. I'm gonna fuck it. Fucking oh, don't worry, Patricia, I'll do it don't again. fucking look at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, then we should just do it from that angle. Ah, oh uh, because if we do it before that angle, then there might be. Yeah, Because yeah, it's like yeah. carpet, there's like the. What I was thinking is maybe do one where you view it from behind, so you see him puking on the door, and then if you get one from inside, behind so, the door, and you just see the window and he pukes on it. Like, so you'd have to close the door all the way. No, no, the way, but not the yeah. I don't think I necessarily have to puke on the door. I just puke. And then I think you should puke on the door. I think it would be better if you puked on the door. It literally on the door. Yeah, that'd be the funniest yeah, you thing. Can't yeah. You can't lick it off. Or in the mailbox. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that is actually pretty good. But then I gotta like move over here, and, then, ah, and then she has to like. I'm gonna block her. Right yeah, that's hard to coordinate. Yeah. And then it's falling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. So what was your last angle? What was your where you came from last? We're shooting from here right now. Okay. So this is just a wide type of angle. What do you mean? It's that enough in the door for that? We're using it's a bit of movie wine. magic. Okay. It's not wine? Well I'm gonna take off my belly and listen, I'm gonna go listen, home. Listen to me right you wanna now. You wanna act like a fucking professional? Why don't you show up instead and know your lines? Huh? You didn't know your lines this morning either! What's your name and what's your characters? Who are you playing? Um, my name is Rachel Murphy and I'm playing Clem. And she's, uh, out of all the scripts that I read, she's my favorite character. I'm in a little bias, obviously, because she's, she's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's my favorite. Like, by far. <laughs> I don't want anything from you and that's why you didn't know anything about it. You weren't even gonna tell me? Why would I? Uh, well, Jesus, I mean, what? So the day you just decided you're gonna just flaunt it at me just to fuck my day up? Fuck your day up? <laughs> I haven't seen you in eight months, and now this is gonna crawl out of me and fuck my entire life up. And is there anyone in particular that you thought would be perfect for a role? Yeah, you know, um, pretty much everyone that got their roles were was exactly who I envisioned for it. I mean, James Rutterham looks like Frankie. Uh, Rachel Murphy, who you know I met on Blue Nose, I've been working with for years. She tends to be typecast as this young, kind of naive, innocent girl. You know, she was like in Alice in Wonderland and, and a lot of children's plays. But she's such a good actress and never gets the chance to do 
something far from that. So w when I decide that, you know, Bigsby's going to have this ex-girlfriend that's pregnant, that's really cynical and chain smokes, it was just obvious to me to give Rachel the opportunity. And she has took it and run with it. No, but it's, this is the first, I mean, I did, I did comfort food. And then, so this is like technically my second, but like, this is my first with actual, you know, like sound people and other actors and everything. So this is actually really, and with a script as well. This is my first with a script. But it's actually been a really, it's a, it's a weird experience because it's people that I know and a lot of people that I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it is a weird experience, but it has, it's, it's nice. I'm more of a theater person and I think I always will be more of a theater person, but it's nice because with this you get to do a take more than one time, whereas if you get up on stage and you mess up, it's just like, okay, you just continue. You don't have really a choice. You can't be like, okay, we're going to cut and we're just going to go back and, uh, and do that again. <laughs> it's, it's been it's been really great. Oh, yeah. Um. Was it first No, that was last. Stop moving the fucking boom, Johnny. Fuck. Don't move the It's crackling like a fucking bike. Jesus, don't get away from When you're handling over rice. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, come on, come on. Stop acknowledging my existence. Right? You're breaking the fourth wall. I'm the, I'm the, yeah, I'm the you're asshole. The I'm the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Are we good? Oh, no, we're not. No, yeah. They're coming when they're Yep. Okay, and take one, angle two. And... I got a job. Where are your pants? They're gone. Never mind that. I'm doing birthday parties again. You never did birthday parties. Shut up. Look. See? I get the money up front. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> I just moved it in my other hand. No. No. See? I found this. Thought we could celebrate my new job? Okay. Goodbye now. No, 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 wait, wait. Alright, that's a cool angle. That is actually a good angle. Yeah, you want just yeah, you want just a little bit more than you can. But I feel like if it's thicker that would help a little bit. Yeah, because then you'll actually Yeah. See it. Don't run my slot. I guess that's probably good. Yeah, I'm sorry, talk a lot. Anything no. you wanna add? Hold on, uh why did you do the part? Why did I do the part? Why are you in Bay why am I in Bigsby? Um, that's a good question, because anyone watching Bigsby would be like, whoa! <laughs> like, who would say yes to this? And um, I was in the play that gave Fritz the idea, with, like, you know, the clown makeup and everything. And I, every play that I do, you know, I end up being, you know, a child or um, a cat. You know, I, I'm a character, and I've, I've had larger parts, but at the same time, you know, either a child or someone that's, there's not a lot to the character. She's very two-dimensional, I guess. So I wanted, I've wanted i always wanted to do something where, you know, my character can get angry and she can have feelings and feelings, you know, like she's an adult. And I know that, like, it's hard because I look so young that it's, even though, you know, playing a part that is my age, I, it looks kind of strange. But, you know, I can. I'm, I'm able to act my age. So it's like I feel like I should be given that opportunity. And... You know, Fritz knows that, you know, and so when he was talking about writing Bigsby, I was like, oh, that's amazing, like, you should totally, you should write, you know, you should keep writing that, and that's great, and then, like, I saw, um, a piece, like, a part of the script, like, earlier on, and I was just, I died laughing, it was so funny, and, um, he told me that if I get rid of the British accent, I can have Clem, and I was like, yeah, okay, Fritz, like, that, sure, sure, if I get rid of, that's the only reason you give me Clem, and, like, Clem's for me, like, there's no... Who else would play Clem, basically? So.
As, as, is that the original? Yeah, yeah originally I had you as Moses, and then John was like, are you fucking high? Thank you, everybody. A round of applause for Alex for providing us with blood. <laughs> Can we get everybody not acting over here? Yeah. Yeah, right. Or... Oh, not acting. Yeah, over there. <laughs> <laughs> I stand still. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> not interested in this place. Yeah, we've got... Well, yeah. Actually, we could get that big camera in this shot. So, you want it over again? Uh-huh. We'll do that again. I'm good for this three years. I think I'm never going to use my clock again. You're either going to use my clock again. Catch a cool if I can get it. Bumble likes pay per view. <laughs> Tell me if I'm not right in the frame. <laughs> You're perfect, Rick. Right? Just like that. It, a lot of this is going to be me. Okay. Me, so. All right. Sure. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's try it again. Um, do it right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Mm. 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 Yeah. yeah. Actually, that'll help. Um. What the fuck am I calling this? Bigsby versus Saul. Um. Saul's <coughs> angle. Can, can one of you guys just someone clap? Oh, wait, I wasn't looking at you. There you go. And... Action. Uh, let's start, yeah, we'll start with the bell ring. Okay. You're not necessarily going to be in it, but it'll help Are you. Are we going nuts again? Yeah, after the bell rings, everyone goes apes <coughs> Entertainer, and you are certainly not a clown. You are so worthless. But you know what? I never got the chance to do this, and I, n I can't believe that I wasted so much time waiting for you to come back and waiting for you to be here with me to deal with everything that is going on. I can't believe that I wasted so much time after everyone told me and everyone knew. I just, you're such a piece of shit. Get fucked.
This makes me want to go back to playing children. <laughs> that's that's how much this sucks. Nothing's worse. Nothing's worse. Yeah, I got Alice in Wonderland. Fuck you. You can play Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you want to <laughs> Did you man the petition? We don't have to tell anyone you cry. We can just pretend that it was the rain. You know? It's raining. <laughs> See? And you look so handsome. I, I just want to take you right now. <laughs> Walk out of shot, that's fine, just walk out of shot. Fake breasts and a <laughs> fake pregnant belly and a big sweater. Yeah. Um, yeah, you still alive? Yeah. Get fucked, take three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to be better than you. Action. Get fucked! Cut. before. You got your face beating the shit and you didn't even make a fucking dime for it.
need a hand job later. Maybe in the back alley. And then when we start, just say your name and your role. Okay. So whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. I'm Allie Parsons, and I do makeup. I do the special effects and the clown makeup. Perfect. And how did you get enrolled into this film? Um, I actually got involved because of James, who's playing Frankie. Um, Fritz came over to our house to go over some lines with James and ended up seeing my sketchbook. And then I told him I also do makeup, so then he was like, dude, come on, do you want to be involved? So I was like, sure, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And what sort of makeup have you done? Like, have you changed from day one to today? Um, from the start of filming to now? Yeah, the first day I was on set, we did a lot of clown makeup, and it was the only clown makeup, um, which is still super fun for me, but my favorite part has been the past few days when we've done uh, bruise makeup, blood, that kind of stuff, uh, special effects, which is what I really enjoy. Perfect. And how would you recommend, how did you start doing makeup? Like, how, would you recommend a path for somebody else that might be interested? Uh, I started doing makeup by practicing on myself. I found it the easiest to do. Um, I was already into art, so I kind of had the color theory and stuff behind me, but honestly, if anybody wanted to get into it, I would recommend YouTube, <laughs> which everyone says, but it's the easiest way I found to get into it because there's a lot of people who are very talented that want to help others get into it. So. And what about youth that might not be you know, too sure, like if they're not, maybe they don't think they're good actors or things like that? Oh, acting too? Hmm. I don't know, I'd just say give it a go. I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen is that, you know, maybe it's not for you, but I think that if you're interested, try it because you don't know what can come out of it, so. Perfect. And any words of encouragement that you would have for somebody young trying to figure out a path through the arts? Stick to it. Stick to your heart. Um, I was very much 
thinking through school that I was going to do sciences and go into things that were, you know, uh, book smart stuff, but uh, sticking with what you love. If it's definitely it's a passion, then I would stay with it because it makes you a lot more happy. So just keep going with it, I guess. <laughs> Perfect. The only, you're the only friend you got in this world. <laughs> you know, we've become really close over this week. It's gonna be real hard to let you go. Cross them on, last is off, give them a candle. What'd you name it? Throw it away from the alley. Yeah, I love you. <laughs>
Best time guys with doesn't switch more in. Thank you so much. Oh, man, no. Thank you, buddy. Oh, this is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, fucking H. Fritz Bishop. I need a drink. <laughs> 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 
Let's not leave a noose in the alleyway. How about that? It was perfect. It was like. It's so good. Put your fucking clown shoes on, boy. Rap party at the Black Diamond, everyone? <laughs> you baby. Maybe there's a note with everything tries. What a fucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> Battery died. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one take, like, what the fuck? Oh, we did it. I don't believe it. I fucking crushed it, man. I don't fucking believe it. <laughs> Better than I fucking envisioned it. Even one of the scripts, man. Yeah, and every fucking shot, every day. I swear to God, I can't. I don't know what to say. Holy fuck. I know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, let's get these boys some goddamn pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's been cock out for four days now. <laughs> straight up like four and eight days straight. <laughs> Quickly, you didn't really know what you were doing, but you can't wait to do it again. It should, it should, it should, it should stop. Yeah, sure. That's how the documentary should end. <laughs> Each of us killing ourselves in different ways. <laughs> in different ways. In that hour. All related That's to the the I love the idea also of him actually trying to hang without pretty much thought to it and just struggling and trying yeah, to like choke such himself a out. Thing. Yeah, that was fucking 
vicious and savage. Washed myself off in a puddle on the side of the highway just so I could look again and he's like, where am I going? And he was just like... <laughs> and then I got up and stumbled the correct direction. This lady I can't wait to see the one take. I hope we're not in shot. Can we try to shot? I don't know. I shit myself. Don't think, because I remember, I remember walking between these cars and thinking in my head. Yeah, as soon as we saw you guys, we fucking bolted. I was like thinking a stupid... Intimidating part that he could. Worst case scenario was come back, so be blood again, and I'll go, God fucking damn it! Okay. <laughs> Gladly. Yeah. <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> Holy fuck, thank you. What a fucked up movie this is gonna be. It's been a, I feel, it felt like this week was a few weeks. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Each yeah. day it felt like at least two weeks. Yeah, because we were like, all, it's like all day for the entire the fucking week. Team. Like everyone was so productive, everyone like did shit. You fucking, you guys work together. So are you you're you're apparently so amazing well. at scheduling. I don't even know. Yeah. What yeah. Like. <laughs> I didn't know either. Yeah. <laughs> you two wrote it. It's one. Yeah. That's. That's not true. <laughs> but like, like, even during production, there was no conflict. Yeah. There was always people checking up on each other, and yeah. if you had your hands full, you know that somebody else would be like, "Oh, it's okay, I got it." Or yeah. like checking up for food or garbage and water, like so many moments of this. Yeah. Throw away gags and like duck. <laughs> Two oh, hours of shoot. fucking. Come on! Yeah. Come on! Come on, Clarence, <laughs> eat it. I want to sit at a bar as this right now. Or sorry. Three. Even though it looks terrible. <laughs> no, it's it cool. We just have to good. tighten up more over okay. here. Right. Um, just because you're completely out. Um, okay. I stepped back. Yeah.